Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In Sydney, it's really miserable and cold weather outside, so I got a little bit cozy and comfortable in my new tracksuit, so sorry for that, but I really didn't feel like dressing up. At the same time, I really wanted to unbox for you the items that I purchased in Sydney Chanel Boutique store in the past couple of weeks and also some items that I purchased in Chanel Beauty store. Uh, those items I will also review, so if you're interested, please keep watching. We start with the items from a Chanel beauty store that I purchased when I was invited to the launch of Chanel Coco Bloom lipsticks. Now, I was obviously recommended some of the items, some were new, so I'm gonna to review them. I used all of them and obviously I created my own opinion. On a side note, if you watch my previous Hermes unboxing and the beauty unboxing, you would know that uh, I am using 90% of time organic products. So all these products that I use, I use only for a few days, uh, just to create my own opinion. I just want to know what the brands are bringing on the market, what the new products are, and at the same time, I want to unbox them and review them for you. I really, really would love uh, these uh, brands that I love and they are top brands on the market uh, bringing and making organic products. I mean, we are living in 21st century and uh, organic is all over advertised now and health is the most important for us. So. I'm not sure why they still haven't jumped on the train, but until they do, let's review these items. We start with nothing else than the lipstick from the new range, which is Roche Coco Bloom. And it comes in their like regular Chanel packaging. It's the shiny sort of look. And I picked up number 116, which is called Dream. Now, if you look at the website, uh, and I'll just check it, it costs um, $58. However, hmm, if you look then closely, it's only three grams. So effectively they're asking double for the regular lipsticks. And just simply, is it worth it? Definitely not. This should have the plumbing and hydrating effect. It does hydrate a lot. Does it have any plumbing effect? Guys, I haven't seen any plumbing effect, but you will be the judge, I will show you. So I picked up this color Dream and it is sort of like a neutral color with pinky undertone. I really wanted some light pink colors, but they didn't have any from this new range. I would say, you have to reapply this lipstick all the time in order for you to keep the color on. Uh, it is very hydrating, so obviously it doesn't stay as long on your lips. However, when you go and compare it to the regular range, and I really love this range and I would recommend it to everyone, it's Roche Allure Ink Fusion. That's the range that I would recommend because uh, these lipsticks last. They just last and my lipsticks never last on the lips, but these really, really last on your lips. And um, if you've got different experience, just leave me your experience in the comments below, please, because I would love to know, but I really love these lipsticks. I picked up 802, which is beige natural, and it is really, really natural color. You can build it up, obviously. And it is very hydrating and um, it is a one color that even so it's matte and hydrating, it really stays. So that's obviously this natural color. You can at least compare the two colors. So that's the color sort of that I would use on a daily basis and I love it. Uh, highly recommend it. Since I went there and I really wanted the light pink color, uh, the manager recommended me this Roche Coco Gloss because they didn't have anything from the new range in that color and I wanted to try just the new products 
Now I picked up the gloss in the number 804 which is Rose Nav. Uh, that's the packaging and it's a regular gloss. Uh, I usually use gloss over my matte lipsticks and I picked up this beautiful like pinky color and it's gloss so on my lips you can't really see it because it I think everyone's lips are a little bit darker right not light pink but over the lipsticks it's just like a basic gloss it doesn't do too much then just make your lips glossy would i repurchase this product is it worth the price tag it's just basic gloss right with a little bit pinky undertone it is a light pink so you won't see too much and you can use any gloss really now we get to another product that is new on the market, if like newish, right? I got it a couple months ago and I really like this product. It is uh, Ultimate Radiance uh, Generating Serum Foundation and I picked up this in number 30 if I'm not mistaken. Usually in Chanel I am number 30 in foundation and powders and everything and for winter i usually buy the number 20 because obviously i get a little bit lighter even so i'm not exposing my face to sun but still you get some suntan through the summer so it get package as so as you can see you get even the booklet with it which is really beautiful and I love the brush. I haven't used the brush though. I've got my own brushes, so maybe this will be something I can carry in my makeup pouch, which I never take with me, but it is really, really smooth. And this I use quite a bit. This product uh, I would really highly recommend. It says it gives your face radiance and it does. I usually don't have to have full coverage on my face through the day because my skin is pretty good like I don't have any acne problem any uh, sunspot problem so usually a very thin layer of foundation is more than enough for me so I would say for those who don't need a full coverage uh, who just need a small layer just to bring some radiance to your face highly recommend it at the same time you can actually put it under your foundation so the radiance will still like show through if you don't have like very heavy makeup obviously on your face so love this product it does what it tells it should do so radiance it is a serum so i think for winter it's really great product you do shine a little bit so if you put too much without any foundation over it it is really like shiny shiny so um, i usually have one pump and that's it it's more than sufficient for the whole face again if you have any issue with acne any issue with brown spot you need to put another layer of different foundation just to cover it obviously but if you don't put too much these will still shine through so love this product and i would highly recommend another product that i have picked up is this uh, healthy glow sheer powder i'm not sure if it's too shiny if you can see it but i had similar powder obviously it's different with the black packaging and that was in number 30 now this powder obviously come with a dust bag and i picked this up in number 20 for winter because obviously my skin is a little bit lighter than in summer in summer i always use number 30 so this is the sort of look sorry i hope it doesn't fall off here we go and that's the color number 20 and it is called less beiges i've got nothing to say bad about the chanel powders they are great can i uh, see the difference between this powder the other powder that i had no i don't see that it's a 
glowy sheer or whatever they say it's just a powder love it it stays on your skin that there is nothing uh, bad to say about this product obviously you have to color match yourself properly because otherwise it doesn't look good usually i hate that in the boutiques the lights are so different so when i was younger and i was well picking up my colors uh, yeah i always looked funny when i went out on a real i picked up another product and this is a multi-use glow stick I just wanted something easy to take with me and check it out. It comes in five shades. I picked up 58 Printenier. This is the color name. I put it down the screen. It's just a pinky color. Can you see? It nearly looks like a transparent. Here you can see that it's really like pinky pinky. However, when you apply it to the skin, it's like just uh, brings you a little bit of glow. I thought for winter it would be great to use more like moisturizing product than powder because it can become very cakey. Uh, however, I don't know, um, not that much into this product. I think I will stick to powder products. This is definitely not product for me because when you apply it over any powders, it just sticks together and I don't like the look. Just it's just me. I, I really not that much into this product. So we clean this off and um, we are going to open the items from Chanel boutiques in Sydney. Some of the items I was hunting down because I really wanted them. We have three Chanel boutiques in Sydney and one sort of shoe Chanel boutique in uh, Westfield Shopping Center. So I shop in two boutiques and one shoe chanel store boutique in westfield obviously now i can tell you that i purchase for some reason too many shoes i think and i should like put a little bit break on a shoe department because soon i have really no space where to put them in no particular order i really am not sure which packaging is which we start with first of them this is the receipt and we will look this is actually from the david jones yeah so i know which shoes they are and this guys it's not everyone's cup of tea but i love them very much so here it is and let's open them So obviously it comes with care booklet, another care booklet, dust bag, and this is a little bit out of my comfort zone. You would have never seen me before wearing this type of shoes, but now I got two pairs, one from Chanel, and I got them in this white color and they're amazing so chanel loafers never been a loafer person but look at the chanel logo here the chanel here i picked up these in size 38 usually i told you chanel has weird sizing so sneakers are 38 and a half and uh, some of the shoes are 38 some 39 i really don't know how they make the sizes but this um, is a patent leather, so I was really worried that it won't be comfortable, but they're very comfortable. I love them. First, I thought it looks like a hospital shoes, but with the right outfit, they look really, really great, and I can't wait to wear them. And I will show you how I will style them. I'm really so happy that this year is all about kitten heels and flat shoes because it's just up my alley. You know that I had uh, ankle surgeries, knee surgeries, and yeah, I just can't wear very high heel shoes for a long time. So uh, for me, it's all about comfort, and these are surprisingly very comfortable. So the other loafers that I will unbox in the next video are in black color, obviously different brand, and I love them the most. So guys love love these loafers they do come in black color if you are interested uh, but i'm not sure if they are still available because at the time when 
I saw them in a boutique, I had to chase them down because uh, the sizes were not available anymore. So, love this, love these shoes. Now we will open another package. This is actually the receipt, they didn't have a cover. Here it is. And uh, let's open it. Again, the dust bag. Oh, and these guys, you saw me unboxing already couple the same style of the sneakers, but I love them so much. And I thought these colors, sort of limeish, uh, greenish color would be great with my Bottega Jody Mini, this Kiwi color. So I really love them. Not sure if the light is too strong and you can see the detailing, but obviously it's got a Chanel and here the color and the stitching is the same like the shoelaces and you do get a replacement shoelaces in white color this i picked up in my size 38 and a half love these sneakers they're very comfortable i had to get used to the thinner platform which i'm not a big fan of but uh, because they are very comfortable i gave it a go and i've got the multicolor, you know the nailish color and also in pink color love them so these sneakers i would definitely highly recommend to anyone who wants to start a chanel sneaker collection love love them now we open this box and again this is packed this way this is the proof of purchase and we will unbox i'm not sure which ones are these but I told you I got really crazy with the shoes. Again, this is the hair booklet. This is the dust bag, replacement shoelaces. So obviously they're sneakers now. Don't scrutinize me. I did say in one of my videos that I love that type of sneakers that I've showed you. And I'm not a big fan of the other ones because they are a little bit too casual. But when I saw these, I couldn't really resist. And I will tell you why. So I picked up these denim sneakers. Look how beautiful they are. I mean, with denim, you can't do too wrong. And as you know, like I've got my Chanel Classic exactly in this denim color, like the lighter color denim, darker denim with white trimming as well. So this is such a great match, so I couldn't really pass on it. I haven't bought them yet, obviously, because I wanted to unbox them for you. Look at the little CCs, it's so cute, the detailing. So I want to wear them together. I picked up these in size 38 and a half and they fit just right and very very comfortable i do not dress going out very very casually so i am gonna to have to see how i will style this and i hope they will work for me because as i said this style i was never a big fan of only because how i am dressing uh, it's not that i don't like them i do they just never fit into my wardrobe so I will have to change somehow my styling things because I really want them to work for us. pair is coming also in this box. Here it is. And oh, this got a story again as well. I'll unbox them first for you. And then I will tell you the story. Here is the dust bag as usual and everything. Here they are, the sandals and they just arrived to australia and guys i never like this i never like the grandma um you know the sandals that everyone is wearing everywhere over social media i just saw them by accident because i went to try some hats uh, to the store and i saw them so i wanted to try them on yeah and i fall in love with them especially because they are white and of white color as you can see this is why this is off white and they are quite comfortable, I have to admit. I mean, you have to find your proper size. I got these inside 39. Usually, as I said, 38, 38 and a half and 39. I'm buying shoes in Chanel. 
These are when the biggest size because the 38 and 38 and a half, this was just too small and it was very tight. So the ropes were obviously too tight on my feet and were very uncomfortable. Look, I haven't worn them for an hour, two hours. So I'm not sure we are going into winter. So obviously I'm not going to wear them now, only in summer, but I sort of fall in love with them with the time. So when they first arrived on the market, half a year later, a year later, I was still not a big fan, but I saw them in summer last year, our summer in Sydney, like they were very colorful for me and for my taste, but I sort of started liking them and I wanted them at least to try them on, but they never had my size. So when this came to boutiques and I was just there and they had such a neutral color that I can wear with anything and everything, I just love it. And lately, it's all about white off white color. I love white and off white color. Uh, obviously, pink is my favorite color, but white and off white lately, uh, I buy so many white and off white pieces. That's not funny even. Uh, I think it's beautiful. It's so elegant and uh, especially the monochromic uh, tones of white and of white I love so much. I can't wait for summer. Actually, I'm not a big fan of winter and I hope winter goes very fast in Sydney. So guys, that was it from today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really love you to join my YouTube family. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my next video. Have a lovely day guys and take care of yourself. Ciao!